All right, what's going on guys? If you clicked on this video, thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate that. Today we're gonna to discuss a topic that I feel like needs to be discussed and a lot of people kind of get all kind of, I don't know, mixed up with when you kind of don't really need to be. So first of all, if you clicked on the video and you're new to my channel, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, on this channel, kind of, I wanna start discussing pretty much anything health, fitness related and you know, random stuff. And I feel like this might be the best way to do that is to kind of just sit in front of a camera. I got the audio set up now and everything's kind of crisp and uh, yeah, just kind of have fun with it. So today I kind of want to go over what diet's best for you guys, right? To lose weight. What diet is best to lose weight? And um, I feel like this topic kind of gets pretty confusing for people when it doesn't really need to be that confusing. And people try to make it overcomplicated, especially professionals in the industry, right? Professionals in the, in the health and fitness industry make this topic like seem so complicated when in actuality, I think it's because they try and make themselves seem smarter than they actually are, or maybe they actually believe what they're saying. But uh, in terms of what diet would be best for you guys, I think we need to look at all the diets, right? So you have the keto diet, which is so mainstream it just became this like massive popular crazy diet and yes it worked cool got it paleo cool got it but say you're running off of carbs whatever i don't i don't care there's there's all these different diets out nowadays and the biggest thing that i think we all need to realize is that every single diet has one thing in common now, what's that one thing? Every every diet has one thing in common. If you're if you're watching this and your goal is to lose weight, what's the one thing that every diet has in common? I don't care what it is. You're doing the HCG diet. You're doing the keto diet. You're doing a carbohydrate diet. Whatever it is, what's the one thing? Actually, I'm going to pause. What's the one thing? Write it in the comments. What's the one thing before I continue that every diet has in common? The main thing we need to realize before we overcomplicate, uh, overcomplicate, overcomplicate these things, these diets, is every single diet shares one quality. You're in a caloric deficit. So whether you want to run off of fats, whether you want to run off of, hold on, get a phone call. It's my brother Freddie. Freddie. Freddie calls me seven times a day. My brother. So whether you want to run off of fats for your energy source, whether you want to run off of carbohydrates for your energy source, you need one, right? We can all agree you need one. Whatever one that might be, cool. Um, let's say keto. You know what? Keto wouldn't work if you were in a caloric surplus. If you were eating more calories than your body needed, you would start gaining weight even if it was keto. And I, I think that's what people don't understand. I've had clients I've worked with where they're like, I love keto. Why do you love keto? Well, I just get to hammer as much fats as possible. But that's not keto. Like, that's not keto. Okay, well, what'd you have for dinner? Dude, I don't know. I was out to eat. I just got like four burgers, four or five burgers, and I took the buns off, and I wiped all the sauce off, and, and I just had four or five patties. Okay, well, if, I mean, if you're out at a restaurant, they're not, probably not using the best quality patties, and they're not using probably lean meat. So you probably had 100 grams of fat in that one meal. What would what, you, you have for breakfast? I had 14 eggs and four shots of olive oil. It's like... Dude, this is not this is not keto, and and I feel like a lot of people mistake what keto actually is. I feel like a lot of people don't really understand what keto actually is. I feel like a lot of people don't really understand dieting in general, and uh, I feel like we need to stop overcomplicating things. The diet that's best for you is the one that is most sustainable long term in a deficit. Right? I don't believe everybody should diet for, you know longer than six months at a time you if you're dieting for six months in a deficit you better have a lot of fat to lose man you better be like really really heavy but if you're like sub i don't know let's say let's say you're like 20 25 percent body fat you're an athletic guy you know you're built but you're or, or, or girl you're an athletic guy or girl whatever you know you're built you got some muscle under you and uh you're like i want to just get leaner listen you should be able to do that in two to three months right Two to three months. I, I give people, so when somebody comes to me and they're like, I want to do a competition. Last guy that came to me was Aaron, big guy, muscular guy. I want to do a competition. He was probably 15% body fat. We took six months. What's the reason we took six months? We took six months to create good daily habits, okay? 
to understand the outlook on his diet and then gradually go into, we didn't hammer right into a, a, a crazy deficit, but you should be able to get that fat off, you know, 10 to 15% off in two to three solid months of dieting. Now, if you're 40, 50% body fat, I could see you training a deficit for a very long time, six to eight months. Sure. Cool. But I don't think, I feel like the normal general population kind of gets stuck in this mindset of like, okay, I need to be dieting 24 seven. And if I fall off my diet, it's such a bad thing. No, 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 no. Stop the nonsense. Stay on a diet and a deficit for two or three months, clean up all that body fat, and then go right above where your caloric maintenance is. Let's say 3000 calories makes you look exactly how you look right now. Maybe try bumping up to 3,100 and, and train with weights, you know, maintain that muscle. Now, when you start putting on a little fluff, you know, say you've done that, you've, you've gone up 100 calories for like six months at a time. You're now at, I don't know, 3,600 calories total. You put on a little bit of fluff. I want to lean out. Diet for two to three months. Keto, carbohydrates, paleo, whatever you want. But you're going to be in a deficit, okay? And while you're in that deficit, you're going to notice you're going to get leaner. And you're going to maintain that muscle as long as you don't put yourself in a crazy deficit because that's not a sustainable diet. And yeah, I think, I think that's the biggest takeaway we need to grasp from this mini podcast in a sense is any diet's good. But like I said earlier, the diet that is best for you is the one that is most sustainable long-term. Now, if that means paleo and so-and-so and so, -and -so the, hey, then so be it. More power to you. Stick to it. You know, nobody can tell you anything different, especially if you're in great shape. If that's what works for you, that's what works for you. And I think we need to remember that this is a very individualized um, thing. I don't know if you call it bodybuilding. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, I don't know what your goals are, if it's just health related. It, every, every client that comes to me is case by case. This is not something where you just hand them a pre-made thing and it's just like, go. It doesn't work like that. Um, everybody likes to eat different things everybody likes different sources of food and you need to realize that. And, um, I wouldn't do, I mean, I, every single week I have somebody new come to me and they're like, I don't know. I just, I really, I found this diet online and it's the HCG diet and it's the blood blood test diet and this and that and this and that. And it's like, listen, we can set you up however you want to diet. However you want to diet, I promise. As long as it's in a deficit, you're going to see results, okay? Now, I can't guarantee you that it's going to be the best results for bodybuilding, but I, I, you'll see results in terms of losing weight. And I think that's the biggest takeaway here is do what you can, you know, do the diet that's most sustainable for you. Let's not overcomplicate things. Let's stick to a diet real hardcore and um, give it two to three months. You'll get a lot of body fat off if you do it that way. But don't be a part of these different fad diets and trying all this different stuff. Stick to what you know. Stick to what you believe you know and always be learning more. And uh yeah, I mean I mean most importantly guys, have fun with it, right? I don't think I don't think dieting needs to be miserable. <laughs> I feel like people put themselves in a crazy deficit. I'm dieting right now. I can't even I can't even breathe. Like dude, it shouldn't be like that. Like I just said, if that person's maintenance calorie was 3,000 calories to look exactly how he was looking, you know where I'd start him? You know where I'd start him? It's 2,900 calories. The smallest baby deficit possible. And you'll see results. And then when that stops working, let's go down to 2,800 calories. And then when 2,800 calories stops working, you know what we're going to do? Bring it right down to 2,700 calories. So... I guess the biggest takeaway from, from all of this is let's not overcomplicate things. Let's stick to the diet that's most sustainable for you. I don't think there's a one diet fits all for everybody. I think that if uh, you like paleo, you like the blood test diet, what, whatever you believe in, it will work as long as it shares that one thing. And that's a, being in a caloric deficit. It's going to work. I promise you. You went to a nutritionist, you're questioning it. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if this person knows who he's talking about. Da, 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 da. The, the first thing we got to look at is, I, I just did this with somebody recently. This is the most generic, basic way to set up a diet. Take your body weight. Take your body weight right now, okay? Let's just say you're 200 pounds, okay? So I'm just going to do some math. 
So let's just say you're 200 pounds, okay? And we're going to times the 200 pounds by an activity level. I like to give people 10 being extremely low, 15 being extremely high. 10 means you probably, you know, you're sitting down all day, you work a desk job, you might work out once a week. You're very, your activity level is very low through the week. 11, you're getting up there. Maybe you work out two times a week, but you're still not that active. 12, okay, or maybe you work an active job. You're still working out two times a week, whatever. You can imagine what 15 looks like. I'm working with a construction worker who, who is working seven days a week and goes to the gym seven days a week. His activity level is just through the roof. Let's just say this guy's activity level is mediocre. Two, he's a 200-pound guy, mediocre activity level. I'll give him a 13. We're going to 200 times 13. This is roughly, this is the most generic way of doing things, but this is roughly how many calories you're going to need. You're going to need 2,600 calories to look exactly how that guy would look right now. The, the 200 pound guy that's mediocre. So this is a great starting point for you guys, right? So if you're like, I don't even know where to start. This is like the most generic, easiest starting point to get you in a rhythm. Now, what I would do is if you're like, okay, say you're this 200 pound guy and I just did that math for you. Whoa, it's so hard. No, it's not hard. So 200 times 13, 2,600, you're now eating 2,600. What I would do is put you at 2,500, just slightly below where your maintenance would be and then see how that looks. You have to try it for two weeks and then move on from there. But you need to be consistent. We can't have a day where this, you know, where it's 20, 2,100 calories, then it's 3,000 calories, then it's 1,900 calories. I, I just don't like doing it that way. I'm sure you could figure out how. Not my biggest... Uh, not, I'm not the biggest fan of doing it that way, I guess you could say. So, okay, that's basically uh, that's basically all I have for you guys today. I um, I basically just wanted to introduce this new style of a YouTube video, which is kind of just a raw cut with Chris Baudio. I want you guys to be able to put this on on a Bluetooth speaker and hear me chat about fitness related or really anything. Um, and it's going to be a new little. I guess you could say playlist on my channel. So if there's anything you guys want to hear, you guys want to hear me talk about um, fitness related or non fitness related, um, definitely drop in the comments. I definitely appreciate it. And if you aren't already, definitely subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind smashing the like button, that would be awesome. It's Brandon Fleehan. Thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you guys on next episode.